Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat in which we would look at an exercise that illustrate the concept of restricted stocks. It's a form of compensation. Adam Company issues 20,000 shares of its restricted stocks to its CFO Maggie on January 1st, 20x0. The stock has a fair value of a million dollar on that date. The service period related to the restricted stock is five years. Vesting will occur if Maggie stays with the company until December 31st, 20x4. Let's basically illustrate what we are to, what we are given here. So we're looking at a time period x0, x1, x2, x3, and x4. Those are the four, f five periods, five periods. We granted the options here. Maggie has to stay all that, those five years, and if she stays, she will get 20,000 shares of the company stocks guaranteed. We don't know what the value will be at that point, but the value today is a million dollar. The value at the end of the year, at the end of year one, at the end of year zero or year one for our purpose is 800,000, that's distractor. It does not matter. We record on the grand date, we record the entry based on the value of the stock on that date. So we're gonna record something called unearned compensation, a million dollar. What is that million dollar? The fair value. What type of account is unearned compensation? It's a contra equity. It's an equity account, but it's going to reduce our equity by a million. It's not an expense. It's equity. Then we're going to credit common stock as if we're issuing the stocks, 20,000 shares times $5 par value, 100,000, and anything that's left will be a plug to paid in capital in excess of par. So this takes place January 1st, 20x0, which is right here. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, farhatlectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course, such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses, broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. Now here's what's gonna happen. A year later, once the year has ended, now we are ready to start to record our compensation expense. Maggie stayed for a year. Now we can record the expense. So now we're going to take the million divided by five because it's a, over a five year period, the expense over five year period. And we're going to record an expense of 200,000. We debit compensation expense and we'll start to reduce the unearned compensation by 200,000. Now it's very beneficial for restricted stocks to do what? To keep track of your unearned, let me write it of your unearned compensation because you're going to see what, what's going to happen. Unearned compensation. We started with a million debit. Now we credited it 200,000. Okay. Now this is at the end of year X zero. At the end of year X one, we'll do the same thing. We'll debit compensation expense credit unearned compensation again, 200,000. At the end of X2, we'll do the same thing. We debit compensation expense, we credit unearned compensation. At the end of year four, which is X3, again, we debit uh, compensation expense, we credit unearned compensation. So, so far, we have reduced unearned compensation by 800,000 and we increased the expense, the compensation expense by 800,000 over a four year period. But here's what happened. July 1st, 20x4, six months right before Maggie is ready to get those 1 million shares, she left the company. Now, if Maggie leaves, the deal is, that's it, forget about your restricted stocks. What would happen if Maggie left? Well, if Maggie left, we'll have to cancel everything that happened thus far. What does that mean? We have to act as if this transaction never took place. Okay, what do we need to do then? We need to remove common stock. We need to remove common stock we need to remove paid in capital because those two has to be gone. We also have to remove unearned compensation as if unearned compensation never took place, which is easy. All what we're looking for is another 200,000 and earn, unearned compensation is gone. And remember, we have a compensation expense of 800,000. We have to reverse this because we recorded the expense. Now we have to reverse it. So let's take a look at what we'll do.
will debit common stock, credit paid in capital, thus removing those two. We credit unearned compensation, 200,000, not 20, 200,000, I missed a zero here. And by doing so, unearned compensation is gone. That 1 million is gone. And this unearned compensation is gone. What's left is compensation expense that was multiplied by four. Well, we have to reverse it. We debit, we credit compensation expense, 800,000, and all the compensation expense are gone. So notice what happened. The journal entry will have to remove everything that you did thus far as if the restricted stock options never took place. Remove their effect from anywhere on the financial statements. And this is exactly what we did. What should you do now? Go to farhatlectures.com, work exercises, multiple choice, true false questions that's going to help you understand this concept better and get you ready, whether you are an accounting student or a CPA candidate. Good luck, study hard, and stay safe.